Hello learners, hope you are doing well. So I'd like to welcome you all to the week 1 grade assignment solution video where we'll discuss the solution to the questions in the grade assignment for computational thinking. Uh, so before we start, I'd like to wish all the best to all our first time learners who have enrolled in this course and to all the learners who fell a bit short of making it to the, uh, to the course. Well, I would like to say that we'll keep on trying. I think you can crack the exam quite easily and in terms of computational thinking, we try our best to do it together. So without further ado, I think we should jump into the first question. So here you can see that this particular step or these particular steps are actually valid for questions 1 through 3. So let's see what the question reads. So it says that what will the values of A, B and C be after the execution of the following procedure using the shopping bills data set. So let's see the step 1 says that we have to arrange all the cards in a single pile called pile 1. The step 2 says that we have initialized the variables A, B and C to 0. Step 3 says that if pile 1 is empty, then stop the iteration. So till here I think um, it's quite easy to understand and step 4 says that you read the first card on the, the top card in fact on pile 1. So this is all going to be a repetition of steps. If you see further down, you're going to see the same 4 steps uh, repeating in almost every procedure that we go through. The next step is where we have to actually put a focus on. So step 5 says that if the bill amount is greater, so that is the total bill amount, uh, is greater than or equal to 500, then increment A. So what does it mean? So it means that if you find any bill amount, so you go through the data set, okay, you click on, you have a link that says click here for the data set, you go to the data set, you go to the shopping bills data set, and then you will see a list of shopping bills. So there you can ha you can just have a look at uh, what these bills look like and on the bottom of the card you will see the amount total written with the total amount that is given for each bill and you can see that if any of these bills are greater than 500 or even equal to 500 you should increment the value of A. Increment basically means that you should add plus 1 to the existing value of A. So if you see say one card and then you go and read the next card and that also has let's say an amount greater than or equal to 500 then you increase the existing value of A by 1. Similarly step 6 says that if the total bill amount is lesser than or equal to 500 and the total bill amount is greater than or equal to 100 then increment B. So it basically means that if you see anything less than 500 that is up to 499 and anything that is greater than 100, greater than or equal to in fact 100. So which means that from 100 to 499, if you see any bill amount, total bill amount in that range, well you have to increment B. Similarly step 7 says that if you see any bill amount that is lesser than 100, that means let's say 0 to 99, that is the valid range for which a bill can be, or not even 0, let's say from 1 to 9, because you can purchase something for let's say a minimum of 1 rupee so from 1 to 99 if you see any of these bills you have to increment C and then step 8 finally says that move the current card to another card called pile 2 and repeat from step 3 so this is basically just going to the through the cards again and again uh, well let's just move on to the answers so just for the sake of simplicity I have taken I have collected all the cards okay all the cards from the data set which actually had a bill amount greater than or equal to 500 and you can see that from here that there were actually a total of 16 cards so that is what is going to be your answer so what you're going to do is you're going to click on the line the green line there you're going to have an option to input a number so you're going to input the number 16 because that is how many cards that there are whose uh, let's say whose bill amount is actually greater than or equal to 500 rupees similarly for question number two they have asked what the value of b is so you can just go ahead and then count the number of cards here you can see that here there are a total of 12 cards whose bill amount was between 100 and 499 rupees 
so that answer would automatically be 12 because those many cards or uh, those many people in fact bought items from each of these stores worth between 100 and 499 and finally we had that last uh, c which says that we had to count how many people had bill amounts less than 99 that is from um, less than 100 in fact less than my pardon me it was less than 100 so it was between 1 rupee and 99 rupees which means that there were only two people and uh, so the answer for that question would be two so the first three questions were completely solved with the first set of steps uh, now moving on to the fourth question 